Matthew chapter 19 verse 24 and again I say unto you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew, interpret bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, this is going to be a, a lesson, you know, just, uh, you know, vibrating off the spirit of the apostles and brothers, you know, doing shows about these so-called celebrities. Well, you can say celebrities today. All right. And uh, in particular, you know, uh, what's making mention is that, um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, I forgot his name already. Chinky. Chinky. You know, basically denounced being an Israelite at one point. You know, he said he was. He made a song called King Judah. But, um, you know, this is just my response to these celebrities. And um, each week, you know, it's the spirit that, uh, you know, I camp here every Saturday from time, from time to time. We always, you know, talk about these demonic ass, wicked ass rappers, you know. And um, none of these rappers are prophets. You know, I remember there was one one time, um, you know, there he was just, he just made uh, Israelite news. Uh, Kanye West just a couple of days ago, you know, for him going to the church and bobbing his head like he in the studio, you know, and they praising this man as if he's the Messiah, you know. And um, I remember there was a video, an interview he did where he was in the studio and he was talking about how he said rappers are prophets you know like you can't be more stupider or dumber than these rappers you know you look at rap the way you know you look at rap hip-hop and you look at how it was back in the 90s well started in the 80s then the 90s and now you hear 2000s which 2019 we are in today you see how these guys are not even wordsmiths anymore. They're not even men of lyrics, you know? In order to be a rapper, you were supposed to be lyrically, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, swift and uh, real nice putting words together and a story together, you know, to, uh, you know, to entertain folks, you know? Some of these rappers, well, all of these, well, back then these rappers were like Tupac, was um, speaking about their lives and really living their raps because they came from the, the, the gutter. You got God, you got these these kids today that don't come from the streets, that don't really come from the gutter, you know, living in the suburbs, and they're portraying themselves to be gangster rappers. You know, at one point it was a reality. You know, these guys was talking about where they came from and how it was, you know, how they living. But a lot of these, a lot of these kids today, their their parents are middle class. They got a roof over their head. They got food. They got drink. They got clothing on their back. The hottest new gear. Their parents buy them, spoil them, and they go out and they become this rapper as if they this gangster and shooter, man. And then a lot of them, you know, well, you know, basically go out there and will shoot somebody just to get wrecked. And a perfect example is uh, your boy Snitch Nine, Takashi 6 9 You know, he did all that for rep, for rep. He faked like he was a gangster, a blood, non-trade blood, and look where it got him, you know? And here it is, he's snitching on everybody. You know, as you see, that's going through the news. You know, so, you know, basically I said all that to make a point because the Most High ain't dealing with none of these rappers, man. These rappers are demonic. They sell their soul. All right. They um they bow down to the Baphomet, which is Satan. You know, a lot of them on a leash. They're not free. And the label owns them. Esau owns them, and have his way with them. 
these rappers don't tell you the rituals they gotta go through. And I'm talking about the majority. Not every last one, but the majority of them to be on some type of platform, to be on some type of platform, you gotta sell your soul, man. So how can they how can they serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai if they so-called believe? Uh, this is another thing to keep in mind that, you know, just because you know of the truth, it doesn't mean you are in the truth. Just because you know of the truth, it does not mean that you are in the truth. You had Kendrick Lamar, he made us, uh, you know, a song. Don't call him black no more, call him an Israelite. You know, you got a lot of these different camps and these guys, they, they, they worship these celebrities as well. So when they make these statements, you know, they got to put it on. You got to make the video go viral through Israel and everybody, you know, applauding these guys. And uh, like Elder Pasu Aramla said, what, what type of works did they do to be, you know, put on this pedestal as if they somebody? When the Lord told us, uh, uh, brothers, us, us stewards, that's really serving the Lord, that our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So why would we even look at one of these celebrities as if there's somebody? They're nobody. They're somebody to the world, but to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're nobody, man. You know? And um, I had wanted to bring out this, this one precept about it. You know, you gotta understand. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ain't dealing with these rappers, man. They got their constellation today. You know, they got their fame, they got their start, they, they celebrity start, startism, if you want, I guess that's the word. They got they, they, they celebrity status today. They got their constellation, their reward. What their reward is, what they, what they wanna achieve is money. You know, they got that. A lifestyle where they could do whatever they want. Fame, you know, and, and toys to play with and, and, and deal with any woman they, they, they want to. You know, and mainly these rappers, they always talk about another man's girl as if that's the trophy. And that's just shows you, too, that this world is wicked, you know. Society today is wicked, man. Because really a trophy to these niggas, these rappers, is having another man's wife. That's like, you know, the, the, uh, the glory and stealing another man's wife, having a woman of another man's you know, laying down with her and taking her out and balling. She switching sides. She leaving him to get with him because he more of a baller or whatever the case is. That shit is off, man. And I'm going to tell you, son, I hope you rappers listen to this video because the most I'm going to kill every last one of y'all, man. Because what you're doing is promoting wickedness. You're promoting evilness. You're, you're promoting Israel to stay asleep. You're help pushing the curses, you know, of Satan upon us, man. You're doing the biddings of Satan. All right, and that's why these Edomites pay you all to all sorts of lot, lot, let me say these Edomites pay you large sum of money. Reason why they give y'all money like that, and they allow you to make money like that in your shows, you know, your record sales and things of that nature, and get and let you have certain toys and live that way, is because you are their puppet, and to keep in Israel sleep. All right, you had Kanye West. At one point, you know, he was going through a malfunction. You know, I believe that character, I, I believe he's chit, man. You know, that's just my opinion on that one. But I, I believe Kanye West is, is chit. At one point, he was malfunctioning, being in default, going back into default when they programmed him. And he was on stage, you know, trying to wake everybody up. And they was booing his ass because they wanted to hear, they wanted to stay asleep. They wanted to hear his songs. But he took his time to be on stage and try to talk to the people about truth telling them stop listening to the radio stop believing everything they see on the news you know and then what happened they said he got treated into the hospital and next thing you know he came out with blonde hair taking pictures with Donald Trump you can't tell me that guy ain't programmed and they got him by the balls man he don't even have a life no more you know but anyway I'm going to uh, read these scriptures. This is Matthew 19 and 20. It says, The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack, what lack I yet? 
Yahweh Shai said unto him, if thou will be perfect, you know, because that's that's the thing, man. It's, it's about striving for perfection. As the apostles preach and teach, you know, and the word is there for us to continue to keep studying. When you learn, you know that you have, and it's truth, it's one thing about knowing it, and it's another thing about walking in it and living it. It's the one thing about knowing it, and it's another thing about living it. Because once you wake up that you're in Hebrew Israelite, all right, you supposed to follow the ordinance of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You supposed to manner yourself in a righteous manner to the best of your ability. And that's keeping the laws to the best of your ability. Rehearsing the holy days, man. You know, not everybody's a prophet. Not everybody's a teacher. You know, there is a, what you call one third mm -hmm. men that will be delivered mm -hmm. with the elect, you know, just as well as women. But you got to strive, man. Um, let me get a quick, quick preset real quick before I go back to that. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 14. It says, um, verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh. So the important thing is to fear the Most High. You wake up and you believe that you're an Israelite because you're hearing the, the brothers out there, the prophets speaking, teaching, prophesizing. All right. The first thing you 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 uh you realize, you know, is that the Lord the Lord is there. The, the Lord is real. The Lord is governing this world, and that you're an Israelite, and you're supposed to fear. You're supposed to look within yourself and go, am, am I uh, doing right by Yahweh? By Hashem Yahweh Shai? Am I living, you know, accordingly to the, to the Lord, to the Lord to deliver me? Because if you don't fear, just like these rappers that wake up to the fact that they're Hebrew Israelites, like Chanky, he never feared the Most High. You know, he wanted to, you know, I guess, because a lot of these, a lot of these, look, man, just like these women, when, when, when new uh, individuals, or let me say new Israelites wake up to the fact of this truth. They 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 have this thing in their head where you think that you're gonna um you're gonna be the one, the chosen one, you know, like your Neo or something, and you're gonna put, you know, Israel, the Israelites on the mat. Like you're gonna spread the truth even faster. You gotta get that shit out of your head, man. And and that goes for these women. Because they learn some scriptures, they watching the prophets, they learn some scriptures, and oh, I gotta push this shit. Oh, I, oh, I could do a video. I could. Teach. You know, they say, oh, they say, oh, I could teach too. Oh, I could spread this and do that. No, you know, if you a woman, you need to find you a man of the Lord, and you need to humble down and just play your life. You know, but but I'm just bringing this up because that's that spirit that comes upon newly fruit. You know, or, you know, yeah, newly fruit, those that believe. Remember, the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. You got guys that, you know, oh, you know what I could do? I'm going I'm to start change. I'm going to, you know, rappers. Here they are. You got these uh, different camps pushing the vibration of rapping. And you got guys that came out of the world as demonic rappers, you know, drug addict, crackhead ass rappers. And then they find this truth. And here it is, they think they could turn their rap bars into spiritual bars. The Most High ain't hearing your goddamn music, man. The Most High ain't fucking with no rappers, man, you dumbass niggas. That shit is stupid, man. And yeah, we listen to it from time to time. We grew up off of it. But guess what? We know that's not going anywhere. You know, if you wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite, you shouldn't be striving anymore to be a fucking rapper, man. Okay? Because all you're doing is promoting whoredom among the children of Israel, making whores out of the, the, the children of the daughters of Israel. You're promoting drugs, you're promoting violence, you're promoting murder. You're breaking every law, you know, showing discord among brethren, you know, being that demon, man. So it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So when you wake up to the fact that you're an Israelite, you supposed to fear Yahweh because it is your duty. You know, as it, as it is said in the Lord's Prayer, we are adeptists, man. All right, we owe. And, and, and really, there's nothing really we can do to, uh, to pay back the Lord. 
And that's the only thing we can do is actually just what? Is to actually continue to do what he said to do, man. You know, and, and to teach and do what we can in the flesh because we're in sinful flesh. All right? Paul said, uh, uh, he said, no, uh, um, ah, I forgot how he said it. Flesh and blood shall enter into the kingdom of heaven because we're going to be changed, man. So really all we can do is, is, is uh, fear the most high. And, and keep his ordinance, man. Do his will. Okay? And, you know, you got to contribute. You know? And you got to put away your wickedness. You got to repent. You know? So, man, the hell with these rappers, man. Any guys... Let me, let me get... Uh, <laughs> all right, let me, let me get back. This is Matthew chapter 19 and uh, verse verse 21. Yahweh Shai say unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast... And give to the poor And thou shalt have treasure in heaven And come and follow me Now why is the Lord talking to um, Why is the Lord talking to this rich man Because the rich man wanted to know If he could make it He said he, he, said he was perfect in the law You know Let me read that again It says uh, Matthew 19 and 20 The young man saith unto him All these things have I kept from my youth up What lack I yet And he's talking about the law Okay, it says, Yahweh Shai say unto him, If thou would be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Because the Lord want to see your action of faith. He want to see where your faith is at. We're all being tested. This whole thing of ours is about faith. And guess what? According to Ephesians 2 and 8, faith is a gift. So in order for you to have uh, faith Then the most high have to have given that to you In a gift man Because that's the gift, the faith So as this rich man Was talking to Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai told him go sell all that you have You know Just like today If you claim you know you used to the celebrity And you you know you known all over the world If you um If you uh You know you know believe in this truth then won't you go sell all that you have? Why don't you uh, denounce the wicked shit, man? You know? And actually promote and push righteousness. But you're not. You know why? Because you're afraid that you're not going to have that lifestyle in which you live. That lavish, luxury lifestyle. You know? You're not going to have the fame anymore. You're going to be shamed. Okay, and hey, if you sold your soul, Esau going to kill your ass. You know, this truth can either bring life or death, man. You know, so really, you know, us brothers of the, of the whole four elect, man, we don't want no fame here, man. Even though the scriptures, you know, say he would give you fame in the land where you was put to shame. But that's according to doing the works of the Lord. You know, other than that, you know, me personally... Don't, 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 don't big me up. I'd rather be the one on the low, you know? I don't want to be that, that top guy, you know? I want to be on the low so I can continue to strive in righteousness, man. Because Yahweh Shai kept no reputation. I don't want to carry no reputation, man. I'm not living up to a standard of the world. I'm living up to the standards of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and my duty as a, as a man of the Lord, you know, is to do the works, you know? And be with the brotherhood As the rest of the brothers doing the same thing man Because once you start receiving Your reward on this side You're going to die on this side man You're not going to have the best of both worlds man And that and that's a message out there To you rappers that claim You know you, you prophet slash You so called prophets Slash rappers If you think you're going to uh, make a buzz And get somewhere in the industry And you claiming to be an Israelite And then you know, you pushing this vibration for spiritual bars and Esau this, die Esau, all that shit. You dudes is foolish as hell, man. You foolish, man. You know? So why are you surprised that uh, Chinky fell short? He's denouncing being an Israelite and, you know, and this and that. Because, you know why? He can't get back in that industry, man. He been blackballed. Even these other rappers who he was linked up with, uh, Ludacris, sold out. You know, and now D, what is it, DPG? I forgot DP, I forgot the name of that group, you know? But uh, I know Ludacris ain't fucking with him no more. 
Because I remember Ludacris spoke about Chinky. But he fucked up. You know? You ain't getting back in that industry. Times done passed. The music done changed. Now it's mumble rap. You know? You got to be more demonic. You got to be a homosexual. Transsexual. Like, you finished, dude. You finished, man. The Lord ain't with you. And, and Satan ain't with you, man. You know? And that's just the truth, man. And I'm tweaking on, you know, on him, man. Because he ain't irrelevant no more. You know, he got a few hits back in the past. But that's it. He really had a short career. But... Why well, be surprised when these rappers like Kendrick Lamar, Kodak Black, uh, who else? Oh, you know, all these other guys that make mention that they, they believe they're Israelites. Who cares, man? Kodak Black, I believe he took a picture with some group and he went to like a, a study and they had a video footage of him. And then he turned around and did a video in the church where he had blood all over him, basically symbolically initiating into uh, that occult, man. You know, of, uh, of of devil worshiping. But he's supposed to be an Israelite. Tribe of Levi. You know, they'll never take these rappers seriously. Rappers are entertainers, man. Entertainers, man. Entertainers for who? The world. They get paid for doing it. Alright? We're messengers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And we're getting paid for doing it. Which is our treasures are stored in heaven. Alright? With Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We're looking to be the elite. You know, we're in a race of being the elite on the next side, on the other side, which is the world to come. Jacob, ruled by Yahweh Shai, man, the Israelites, the heavens on earth, okay? Now, it says, uh, Yahweh Shai said unto him, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that all, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. So if, you know, if you are a celebrity, and you watching these videos, you know, one way of showing your act of faith, give all that you have up, you know, give it away. Or, yeah, you got to give all your riches up, but what you should do is stop pursuing the things of the world and start living more for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I dare you, you know, I challenge you, but I know you're not going to do it because Yahweh Shai words are powerful, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai word is powerful, man. And that's why these accounts and that I'm reading which is one account comes hey, 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 it plays out today it's the same thing man there's nothing new under the sun man there were rich men back then and they're gonna be rich men today that find out that they're hebrew israelites and find out the truth just because you know just because you know of the truth doesn't mean you are in the truth uh verse 22 but when the young man heard that saying he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions you see he went away sorrowful. Why? Because he was not willing to give up any of his goods that he, you know, he worked for, I say, I guess, or he inherited, you know, not giving that up. <laughs> it says, verse 23, then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, verily, I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven notice it said hardly man hardly all right and uh i just want to you know look up something look it up very difficult you know straight to the point Hardly means what? Very difficult. It's very difficult for a celebrity and a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven because you have your constellation on this side. All right. Now, if Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh Shai, the healer, if they so happen to wake up, you know, one of the men and hear a rich man, that's the Lord's will. But Yahweh Shai said, it is hardly which means very difficult, all right, for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know, to follow Yahweh Shai on this side, okay? Because other than that, as the scriptures say, they must know it after death by pain, you know, meaning you're going to have to die on this side in order to get the truth, you know? But we we have the hopeful elect. We're looking to live, all right? We're looking to live, man. 
all right, with Yahweh Shai, even on this side. You know, that's why the scriptures say, give that body as a living sacrifice, you know? And that's what brothers do, man. It says, uh, verse 22, but when the young man heard that, that saying, he went away sorrowful. He went away sorrowful. Salakia, let me uh, pull over. Mm -hmm. It's too much congestion. It's too much stuff going on out here. All right. It says, um, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. Verse 23. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. All right. And if you uh, brothers got the Zion of Van Bible Dictionary or you could Google it, you know, there was actually a, 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 a location where, you know, you would have to, you know, humble your camel to walk through, you know. The Most High said it, it the, the, hey, well, excuse me, Yahweh Shai said it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter into the camp, to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So when you came to that, that location and you had to go with your camel underneath the, the little uh, tunnel, the little cave thing type thing, Salakia, I got to just look it up for the exact uh, location and things like that, but you could just look this up. Um, that is easier, all right, than a rich man entering into the kingdom, man. That's one hell of a comparison, man. That's one hell of a comparison, man. All right. Now, it says, um, verse 25, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, who then can be saved? But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with Yahweh, all things are possible, you see? Because through the Most High, there's nothing impossible, man. The Most High can choose whoever he chosen. We know that he's chosen the elect from the very beginning. So whoever's the chosen is, they're going to make it. Whatever situation they in, whatever type of lot they're in now, they're going to wake up to the fact that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the Lord and Savior, the power, the Father and the Son. Okay, they're gonna wake up to the fact that they're an Israelite and they're gonna walk in this truth. They're not just gonna know of the truth, they're gonna live this, they're gonna uh uh they're gonna be in the truth, man. They're gonna live the truth because they're gonna do they're gonna have works all right behind their faith. So it says, But Yahweh Shai beheld and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with Yahweh all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. And follow thee, what shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in regeneration, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You see that? And re means back, generation means gene. Okay. It says verse 29, and every one that hath forsaken houses and brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or ch children or lands for my namesake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Because the Lord at the end of the day want to see your faith. You got to have works. Faith without works is dead, man. You got to have works. You gotta have, in order to have faith, you gotta show forth your faith. Tell you how a bot me out shot. It says, verse 30, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You know, so, you know, that's that's basically it. You know, the hell with these celebrities, man. You know, I never get excited when I hear about a celebrity uh, waking up to the fact that he know he an Israelite. You know, all these different, I'm gonna say, it's, 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 it's the ones that's not really rooted. It's the Israelites that's not really rooted, you know, and it's true for know the scriptures the way they should, that get super excited about a celebrity mentioning being a Hebrew Israelite, you know, because really that's, it's not exciting. It's not exciting at all, man. And then when they denounce it, all of a sudden, oh, 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 
he worldly anyway. <laughs> and we were saying he was worldly when we found out he was saying that he was an Israelite when he made a song, King Judah. You following after these uh these these false prophets, man. That's what it is. You gotta understand. That's why nobody likes Great Millstone, man. Cause Great Millstone to them is boring. It's no theatrics, rough. You know, uh, they call us radical. You know, uh, strong. You know, just teachers, man. Just teachers. That's it. At the end of the day, what else do you want? You should get the understanding. That's all you need. Scriptures say, knowledge and wisdom shall be. The stability of your times, man, of thy times. So, so all you need is to is to get the word, is to, is to eat the word. That's it. You don't need no glamour. You don't need no glory, no reputation, no fame. You don't need none of that. You know. And I'm gonna tell you something. You ain't gonna want to be famous when Jacob's trouble come anyway. So for the guys that's looking to be famous, looking to be, um, you know, the top teacher and the super duper prophet. You know, all this and that. You know, you're going and getting awards and all that shit. You so deep. You so deep. Watch when Jacob's trouble come. The Lord is going to... I, I, hey. The Lord is going to have the same people who you deceiving destroy your wicked ass, man. You know? And that's how the Lord be moving, man. You know? The same ones you deceiving be the same ones that's going to destroy you, man. Because the Lord has kept no reputation, man. You know, and, and that's it, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.